Michael Jackson was born on August 29, 1958, in a small town called Gary, Indiana. He was the eighth child in a big family of nine brothers and sisters. His father, Joe Jackson, was strict, but he saw great talent in his children, especially in Michael. Joe loved music and wanted his children to become famous singers. So, he formed a music group called the Jackson Five, with Michael being the youngest member. Even though Michael was just five years old, he quickly became the star of the group. His voice was powerful, and his dancing was magical. The Jackson Five began performing in small clubs, but it didn't take long before they became famous. They signed a record deal with Motown Records, and soon everyone knew their name. The group had hit songs like I Want You Back, ABC, and I'll Be There. These songs made the Jackson Five very popular. They performed on TV shows, went on tour, and sold millions of records. Michael's energy, dance moves, and voice captured people's hearts. Even as a young boy, Michael was already a superstar. As Michael grew older, he wanted to explore music on his own. In 1971, while still part of the Jackson Five, Michael started his solo career. He released his first solo album, Got To Be There. This was the beginning of Michael's journey to becoming the king of pop. In 1979, Michael released the album Off The Wall, which was a big success. With songs like Don't Stop, Till You Get Enough and Rock With You, the album showed the world that Michael was ready to be a solo artist. His music was different from anyone else's at that time. He mixed pop, soul and disco music and people loved it. However, it was in 1982 that Michael made history. He released Thriller, which became the best-selling album of all time. Thriller had hit songs like Be Li Zhong, Beat It, and of course, the title track Thriller. Michael's music videos for these songs were like mini-movies, especially Thriller, which featured famous dance scenes and a spooky story. Michael became a global superstar. His dance moves, especially the moonwalk, became legendary. He first performed the moonwalk during a TV special in 1983, and the world was amazed. No one had seen a dance move like that before. In 1987, Michael released another album called Bad, with hits like Bad, Smooth Criminal, and The Way You Make Me Feel. The album was a huge success. Michael went on a world tour, performing in countries all over the globe. His concerts were full of energy, and fans would scream and cry when they saw him. People from every corner of the world loved Michael Jackson. His music brought people together, no matter where they were from. Michael didn't just make music, he also cared deeply about helping people. He gave millions of dollars to charities, and often spoke about love and peace. In 1985, Michael co-wrote the song We Are The World with another famous musician, Lionel Richie. The song was made to raise money for Africa, where many people were suffering from hunger. The song became a huge hit, and it raised millions of dollars to help those in need. Michael Jackson's life wasn't just about music, though. In 1988, he built a huge home called Neverland Ranch. It had a zoo, an amusement park, and everything that a child could dream of. Michael loved spending time at Neverland and often invited children to visit. He had a pet chimpanzee named Bubbles, and the two of them were often seen together. Michael was very private about his personal life, but he always showed kindness to people around him. In the 1990s, Michael continued to make music and perform. In 1991, he released the album Dangerous, which had hits like Black or White and Remember the Time. Michael's concerts were still as popular as ever, and he performed for millions of fans. But as Michael's fame grew, so did the attention on his personal life. People began to ask questions about his changing appearance. Over the years, Michael's skin became lighter, and his face looked different. 
Michael said that he had a skin condition called vitiligo, which made his skin lose its color, but people continued to speculate. Despite the rumors, Michael kept making music. In 1995, he released the album History, which included both new songs and his greatest hits. One of the new songs, You Are Not Alone, became very popular. Michael continued to tour and perform, but he also faced personal struggles. The media often focused on his private life rather than his music, and Michael became more reclusive. In the early 2000s, Michael's life became even more complicated. He faced legal troubles and health problems. However, he remained hopeful and planned to make a big comeback. In 2009, Michael announced that he was going to perform a series of concerts called This Is It. Fans were excited to see him back on stage, and tickets sold out quickly. Everyone was eager to see the King of Pop perform again. Sodly, Michael Jackson never got the chance to perform his comeback tour. On June 25, 2009, Michael passed away at the age of 50. His death shocked the world, and millions of fans mourned his loss. People from all over the world remembered Michael for his incredible talent and the joy he brought to their lives. Even though Michael Jackson is no longer with us, his music lives on. Songs like Thriller, Billy Jong, and Beat It are still played today, and people continue to be inspired by his talent. Michael changed the world of music and dance forever. He will always be remembered as the King of Pop.